So here we are at the Olympic Sculpture Park Pocket Beach, they call it. And a couple years ago I was at work, the lowest tide of the day, and I thought, well, I'm just a couple blocks from the salt water. I'll have to go check that out. So I walked over here, and they had, um, I don't know, docents kind of people out with some expertise to talk about it, to tell you what was going on, and they told me some stuff I hadn't known. This area was kind of rebuilt when they did some work on the seawall. So they had to tear everything out and put new riprap, which is just a fancy term for all the concrete chunks they piled in there. So it had been sterile only a little while before in terms of there were no you know, marine organisms growing on it or anything. So it's kind of interesting. You could see the critters starting to recolonize from the nearby stuff. It's also interesting because there's not actually a beach right here. We've got piers on either side. Oh, look, there's a tall bird sitting out there watching me. I wonder who that is. Checking me out, that's for sure. So it's kind of cool. It was like a minus 2.4 or minus, I don't know how much tide. Anyway. I like that. There's a salt tank to the air when you're in close, which is also a little bit rotting seaweed and stuff. Figures into it. And then there's even usually the... Uh, smell of creosote from some of the logs. There always seems to be a few treated logs. My mother's telling me that they're kind of a bit of a problem because they don't decay quickly because of the creosote and then they drift around and contaminate stuff. But they don't use it as much anymore, I don't think. Anyway. But that's a very familiar smell to me, having grown up out in Edmonds, playing on the waterfront all the time. I've heard that because of the way the entrance into the sound is there's kind of a, an underwater table or whatever you call it there that tends to mix the deeper water back up into the surface so where normally a lot of the phytoplankton zooplankton would kind of drift down out of the water and dead things fertilize them but then it gets too low to be that much use to the upper water that entrance remixes everything back up so you get a lot of fertilizer in the water a lot of things growing they're saying that the sound has one of the denser living material per cubic meter of water measurements around. Like out in Hawaii, there's not nearly as much, which means it's really cool to go scuba diving because you can see a long distance. The downside of all the living material is you can't see very far in the water here. But the upside is there's all kinds of clams and crabs that feed off the stuff in the water or whatever dies and fish and so on. So, there's a lot of good stuff too.